All right, here we go. Uh, shit. Um, fuck it. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, my name is Alvin Blogger. Um, I'm doing an interview on Instagram Live because Zoom wasn't working. So we're on here on um, Instagram Live. I'm waiting for the interview. I'm actually the person I'm interviewing. His name is Josh Josh Kia. I'm waiting for him to log in. So once he logs in, we good. Um, first of all. I haven't been on Instagram Live in like three, four years. I don't um, put myself out there on social media like that, so I apologize. Second of all, this right here is a video camera. <laughs> so I'm trying to record the um, interview at the same time as I'm on live. So uh, thank you all for tuning in, I guess. Um, but anyway, um, like I said, my name is Al Joseph. My real name is Al, or my social media name is Al the Blogger. My real name is Al Joseph. So. Um, yeah, we on here on live, trying to get this interview going. So y'all just bear with me. I'm trying to get the homie on here. Oh, all right, he's on. Waiting on you, brother. All right, shoot. Oh, I got you. All right, we good. Let me know when you win, bro. I got you. Hey, let's, <laughs> let's go. I already got it. Let's get it. What's up, my bro? Hey, hold on. Let me give you a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right. Now, um, uh, first of all, whoever's watching this, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, I want to give a shout out to everybody because I don't post anything on social media. So I apologize to y'all for not doing that. Um, with that being said, welcome in my brother, JQ, a.k.a. Josh Kiat. We here. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, my bro? Man, man, we good. Um, I'm chilling, bro. I feel great. Um, the Zoom thing didn't work out, so we have to come up with a plan B on the spot. And it actually worked out so far. Hey, you know, you know we're going to make some shake, yeah. Oh, yeah, facts. Big facts. I'm all with it. I'm all for it. Um, we got a few people watching, so we're going to just jump right into it. Let's just get it. How you feeling? Good? Man, I'm good. How about you, man? How about you, bro? I'm blessed, bro. I'm chilling. Thank you for asking. I appreciate yeah. it. I feel great. I need to get a haircut, hey. though. Hey, it's rough out here in the field, you hear You said what, bro? I said it's rough out here in the field, man. <laughs> Facts, bro. Like I haven't got my hair like cut in, in in forever, so I need to get this shit taken care of ASAP. But you know we're gonna make it work though. <laughs> but yeah, man, dog. I I appreciate you for being patient with me because I know the whole situation earlier was just confusing. Man, bro, you know that shit happened, bro. You know I ain't tripping on man. Yeah, but you know it's all love. <laughs> Man, I'm finna find this backwood up too, man. I'm just trying to enjoy myself, man. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got you, baby. Don't mind me at all. I feel you. You good, man? Um, so I guess since we have like, I guess like a little small audience, let me let everybody know. My homie in here. Hey, my brother. Yes, sir. What's up, bro? Let me send him a wave real quick. I don't know how this IG thing works, bro. This is. <laughs> Confusing. Man, I I don't really be like talking to folks on here like this. I ain't never did the little video type shit. <laughs> Facts, bro. Like, I don't. I, it took me like five minutes to get on live. I'm like, how do I do this? Like, it's not normal for me, you know. Like, this shit like new to me. <laughs> and then I said the request so long ago. I said, hey, so don't wait on you, bro. <laughs> Facts, bro. <laughs> But yeah, man, we here. This, this is something new, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get used to this and keep everybody updated. But um, uh, let's get started. Um, first of all, like I said to everybody, um, thank y'all for um being patient with us. I haven't posted on social media in a while, so thank y'all for that opportunity for staying. You know, I guess loyal to you know, um, me as a blogger, YouTuber. Second of all, thank you to Josh Q, Josh Kiat for coming into the Instagram Live because the Zoom didn't work out. So I appreciate you for that. Um, it's an honor, bro. It's an honor. Definitely. And um, shout out to the people watching. I got my, my homie Isaiah. 
watching. So let's get it. Um, this is how it works. So for y'all who don't know, me and Josh, we go back to I think last year or 2018. Both last year, last year, last year, man. Good times. Yeah, time Before flies. Pandemic and shit. Facts. Everything was, life was good back then. It was normal, but now it's like. You know, everybody's social distancing and, and um, like, wearing face mask and using hand sanitizer. I'm like, I was using hand sanitizer before, but now I'm, <laughs> I'm using it even more now. So yeah, I'm telling this... you, I got my six mask in my car, bro. I'm playing here. <laughs> he said six? Damn. You got a lot, then. I got masks for days, bro. I feel you. Hell yeah. Um, So... You know, obviously, I've been doing the blogging thing for, you know, a handful of years. You've been rapping for a little while, too. Um, for the fans I don't know, Josh Keogh, he's actually a rapper from Alabama. And I'm a blogger here in Phoenix, but I've been doing my thing, you know, I want to say I'm not famous or nothing, but, I've you know, I've interviewed a few people here and there, a few, you know, celebrities here and there, but ain't nothing too crazy. But um, I've, be, I've been able, I've been blessed enough to branch out of Arizona, is what I'm trying to say. And me, so, you know, some semi-popping artists outside of, you know, Arizona, West Coast, East Coast, the South, Midwest, stuff like that. But, um, now you came in clutch, bro. Like, our first interview was, we did a, how many, I forgot how many, couple hundred. I was happy as fuck. <laughs> man, that shit, that shit, that shit was up there. And then, like, man, that ain't gonna do nothing but keep going up, bro. Because, you know what I'm saying, it's real content in that thing, bro. That's like, that's more than an interview. That's like a... a piece of culture almost oh yeah definitely i because i told you um even back then it's, it's really bigger than an interview because i actually learned from that first interview like when i watch when i do my interviews i don't really try to learn i just try to do it just because it's an interview i just want to get it over with and i post it and that's it and i just keep it pushing but with yours i'm actually i watched it you know over and over again and i was catching stuff that i, I didn't catch you know on the spot when he when he was on the camera so it's always good to like you know Watch and learn, and listen. Hey, you gotta listen. Hey, you know something else we forgot that I need to thank you for too. What's that? You pulled up on me at my first show in Arizona, bro. You recorded it, bro. My life, bro. You forgot all about that, dude. Oh yeah, I got you. Oh, nah, I didn't forget. I, I still have it on my, my channel. Bro, my first show in TV, bro. <laughs> Pull right up on me, dog. Boy, you so real, bro. On oh, everything, man. <laughs> Nah, I appreciate you for that. Yeah, you had invited me. I was a little nervous, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was nervous, but, you know, I, I was like, I've been doing this for years, so it ain't nothing different. You know what's crazy? That place was so small, and it made me nervous. I don't know why. Like, I was like, damn, bro, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to just do what I've been doing. You let me on stage and everything. Dog, my heart was beating, but we made it happen, though. Oh, there, man. We made that shit wrong. It was lit, too. It was a, They was supporting like Arizona don't get no no they don't get no oh, love like that. Arizona Arizona show real love, bro. That's one thing I do miss about being out there, bro. Those people, bro, they show some real love, man. That's facts, definitely. And it's bro, they did, bro, bro, they they paid me to do that shit. You know for what real? I mean? They paid me to do that. Hell yeah, bro. And I'm from Alabama, bro. <laughs> Man, no phone paid me, bro, to come to the Tempe Tavern and perform, boy, all my life they did. Boy, I fought with Arizona so hard, man. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's crazy. That's what's up, though, bro. You still doing your thing, too. So let's get um into it. That was just a warm-up, y'all. Just a little introduction for y'all who don't know. <laughs> we got some more people in here, so let's get started. Um, Welcome in, Josh Kiot. Alabama's very own. I appreciate you for your time right now. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful Wednesday night. Um, we just enjoying the moment right now. Obviously, we can't go out because of the virus, so we gotta, you know, play it safe and, you know, be uh, be aware and be cautious of, you know, our surroundings. So, thank y'all for again for joining us on this Instagram live. I might start doing these more often, but yeah. <laughs> With that being said, um, you said what, bro? I said me too. Thanks. With that being said, um, Josh Kia, welcome, welcome back, bro. Once again, part two. Out of fucking blogger, man, the big dog, big speaker, man. Yeah, man, that's my dog. 
Hey. Boy, it's so good. It's good to see you, bro. For real, for real. Like, all jokes aside, bro. Good to see you smile. You doing all right, man. That's the shit I love to see, bro. Got to, you got to, you got to stay positive in these tough times. I, I never seen it like this ever in my life, and I've been here thirteen. I never seen this in my life, bro. Like I've been through, you know, we had. I'm from Florida. We had hurricane season back in the day, but that was like a, a storm that lasted what a day or two. This is like three months, four months. That's that's been going on. Like this is this is crazy. Yeah, man. And it's just getting worse and worse, man. Ain't nobody taking this shit serious, bro. That's what the real kicker is. Ain't nobody taking this shit serious, man. That's the sad part, but my whole thing was like, why do we take so long to, you know, to, um, how do I say this? Why do we take so long to, like, to, to, to start to do something about it instead of preparing in advance when we had been warned beforehand? You know what I mean? I can't speak for Alabama, I, but Arizona, I mean, specifically. See, man, like down here. I mean, it might be the same in Arizona, too, because, you know, I stayed out there, too. Like, bro, a lot of people, bro, they get their information, bro, from Facebook. Like, they get all their political information, all their entertainment, all their world history. This shit might not even be true, bro. A lot of times when motherfuckers share them stories and shit, they just reading the caption, bro. So they could be like, Alda Blogger said... He hates everybody. Like, that's the caption. And they'll go and make these long rants about it. And we'll, and it's literally a, a, a piece of a text from you reading from a book, bro. Completely taken out of context because people won't read what the hell they put. Like, it's so, it, it makes me angry, bro. Because, bro, I got an iPhone XR, bro. It ain't nothing in the world Siri cannot tell me or that I cannot go resource, bro. There's no reason. If you're stupid in this day and age, it's willingly, bro. And that's the most dangerous type of person to me, bro. Thanks. That's like, true. I that's... know I'm stupid and I'm just going to ride this shit out. Man, that's dangerous, bro. I know. I definitely I agree. Like, these kids are always using social media. You would think they would use Google for their benefit to make them more intelligent. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. You got the world in your hand, bro. The world is in your fucking hand. Bro, right now, talking to you, you way out there in Phoenix, man, on these devices and shit, man. <laughs> man, this shit for Thanks. real, bro. We, we just tried. People don't need no funny interview. We just tried for maybe, what, 40 minutes, bro, trying to work out some other shit. You see how quick we put that shit together, man? <laughs> They don't know. Yeah, it's all, it's all about being persistent and just trying to improvise on the spot. Cause I work at a restaurant, and at my at my job, I'm a busser, so I gotta be quick. I gotta take the plates off the table, take the silverware off the table, take the 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 um the cups off the table, and then leave, and then come back, and then reset the table. So I gotta be quick. And if something happens, that's on me. So I gotta make sure everything is you know. You know, um, smooth and stacked and and well. And if something goes bad, I have to try to improvise and make it better. So, same thing with Zoom. We try to get on Zoom. It took me ten minutes to figure out how to log in and put the the video on. Then you said go on IG. I'm like, you know what? Hmm, that's a good idea. So, fuck it. I jumped on IG and here we are. But I appreciate you for that too. You, I mean, from what you've been telling me, like you you smart too yourself, bro. Like I'm gonna give you your flowers while you're here. <laughs> You're a real OG. It, you know, I, I appreciate it, bro. For real, I appreciate that. Like, and all my, oh, yeah, because uh, I've been doing this for uh, five years now. In five years that I've interviewed artists, you the you the only artist I ever interviewed. This ain't capping. I'm not saying this because you're on camera. This is like, like, this is like genuine. I've never had an artist tell me they wanted to pay me for an interview. And I'm not trying to put you on blast or anything and check your pockets, but for the people watching, like. I never like that's 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 from the heart. That's love, bro. Like I don't do this for for money like that. You know what I mean? I do it for the love, for you know, for exposure for you know local artists. So that's love, bro. Like that ain't never happened to me before. And you was like, you, I never forget it. You was like, I'm a businessman, and I was like, I was like, bro, I feel you. So shit, I appreciate you for that. Everybody got money. Like, you know me, you know me, bro. Come in, you done had talks. Like, bro, I come from the trap, bro. You know what I'm saying? So-